Welcome to today's daily video lesson. Today's topic is scatter plots and dot plots. As with all daily video lessons, feel free to pause the lesson and try the problem on your own before seeing the solution. Here we have a scatter plot, and we're interested in estimating the amount by which the line underestimates the value of y when x is equal to 50. Here is where x is equal to 50, and if we follow this up to where the line is, we see that the line is about there, whereas the actual data point is up here. If we understand the scale of this y-axis, each line is an increment of 5, so this is about 65. How much taller is it? Well, we can count grid lines. That's 5, 10, 15, and a little bit more, about halfway. So the only option choice greater than 15 is D. Here is a STEM question. STEM questions will give information and you will answer either two or three questions about the same given information. Here is where the STEM is and the question is below. For an adult crocodile with a head of 30 centimeters, we want to know what the closest approximation is to the body length predicted by this line. We see that when it's 30, the line is about this high, which is a little bit more than 200, but definitely less than the halfway mark, which would be 250. Thus, we have option B, 215. Here is the second question to the same stem information. Based on this line of best fit, we want to estimate the increase in predicted body length, so increase in predicted body length, for every 10 centimeters increase in head length. So if we look at our head length and we increase, say, from 40 to 50, that is an increase of 10 centimeters, we're interested in seeing how the line increases. That is, how much this point increases to get up to the next point. Notice that we chose this interval because these data points happen to be on easily readable number lines. It's going to be a little bit over 100 in increase to get from the lower point up to the height of this point here. It's not quite 150 because 150 would be up to there. Thus we have option C, which is less than 150 but greater than 100. Here is a dot plot. Dot plots present the data information by giving dots to represent the number of entry points that represent the given measurement. In this case, we see a scale on the horizontal axis in thousands of dollars, and the dots represent the houses that fall on these different numerical values. We're interested in the maximum, and we see that the maximum data entry points are up here at 178k. Two such houses are, and so we have 178 as our maximum estimated market value. Here, the mean is 20 for data set A, and so is the mean is 20 for data set B, and so the means are going to be equal, so we eliminate C, we eliminate D. Notice that these are measures of central tendency and that there is less data on the outskirts as opposed to in dataset B, where there is more data further away from the mean. This means there is more variance in dataset B. So the standard deviation of dataset A is less than the standard deviation of dataset B.